on guys, Jason here from selfmadeshow.com. I want to welcome you guys to a new series that I'm going to be doing. Uh, it came in from a former coaching student of mine who wanted to know how to start a blog. And over the course of the past year, I've trained a lot of different people on Kindle publishing, e-commerce, and all kinds of forms of making money online and passive income. However, uh, one thing that I have not covered a lot is how to make a blog. And a blog to me is your digital home. It's the place where people are going to find you. It's where you're going to you know, sell your products, meet people, connect, uh, spread your message, and really just get yourself out there. So a blog is very important if you're going to be in a passive income business. In fact, I believe it is essential to have some sort of blog, some sort of presence that people can find you at. So I'm going to show you guys step by step, really cut and paste how to set up a blog. And I'm actually doing that by starting my own new blog uh, where it will be a, a fitness related channel, something that I'm also passionate about. So I'm actually going to be doing that. Um, it's going to be a new YouTube channel. It's going to be a, a new blog as well. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So this series is going to take place over the course of probably five different training blocks. So this will obviously be training block number one. It's going to be the really basic fundamentals of how to do this. However, this is probably the hardest and most technical point of all of this. Again, it's very simple, but some of this can trip you up if you don't have the training, you don't have a coach or anything like that. So this video, again, is going to show you how to start a blog. So here in a second, I'm going to jump behind my computer screen. I want to take care of a couple different things. First of all, you probably see this nice fancy background behind me. Um, so I want to do um, sort of invest in uh, creating a better environment, a better training environment for, for you guys for some of my future videos. So I went ahead and, and got this and I'm actually going to make a video on that and how I set this whole system up very, very inexpensively. Uh, and I'm so I'm still working the kinks out. So if there's a couple things, you know, let me know uh, your feedback on that. Um, secondly, if you have not already heard about this, there's a free mastermind group for all things related to making money uh, online at home, passive income, whatever you want to call it links in the description. And thirdly, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, my new place that you can find me is selfmadeshow.com. So please bookmark that, come back, leave comments. I'm going to be posting all my new training material on that, some exclusive stuff. So I'm uh, really looking forward to that. So without further ado, I'm going to jump here behind the computer screen and show you guys uh, the, the first steps on how to create a blog. So thank you guys. Keep the questions coming. Love interacting with you guys and really hoping to help you guys further your online businesses. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you guys soon. Thank you. Here, uh, back here behind the computer screen, gonna show you guys phase one, uh, kind of training module number one on how you're gonna go ahead and create your own blog. Very simple, very easy. Uh, get a, uh, some paper, get a pen, start writing down some notes, because the beginning part is the most technical part. So we wanna make sure uh, that we know exactly what we're doing. So you got to follow these steps very closely. There's other ways to do it. You can go to different, you know, different setups, but this is a way that I do it. It's a way that you're going to be able to easily do this. So step number, step number one, we have to find a domain. We have to find somewhere where we are going, what we are going to name our blog, what we are going to name our website. Um, don't overcomplicate it guys. We want to make it very simple, very easy to remember. The rule that I like to use is if I'm talking to someone on the phone and I say my blog is for me, selfmadeshow.com. Very easy. There's no, uh, spelling. There's no, it's just very, very simple. Um, again, that is, that is a rule of thumb that I use. So when you're creating your blog, I suggest you do the same thing. We don't want to overcomplicate it because imagine five years down the road, you've got thousands of people coming to your website every single month, but maybe you're missing out on a few because you don't have a very simple, easy to remember domain. Okay. So that is number one. And you know, I'm talking to a lot of people out here. I don't know what you're going to specifically call yours, but really make it simple. I tend to want to use a .com or I, I tend to want to use a .net. However, there are some that isn't as a hard and fast rule as it used to be. It used to be try to get a .com, try to get a .com, try to get a .com. For, for now, 
it's kind of easing up a little bit. It's more whatever your content is going to be the, the key. So if you have phenomenal content, if you have a lot of visitors, if you have a lot of good videos, audio, blog content, Google's going to pick up on that and you're going to go to the top of the rankings. Okay. So that doesn't matter as, as much as it used to be. In fact, I'm going to show you that I'm not going to do a .com or a .net. Okay. So, and there's rules as to why you, you might not want to do that either. So Let's for you, okay. Assuming that you, you want to do a blog and you want to you want to maximize your results, try to find a .com or a .net. Okay, so let's just give an example. For me, I'm going to be doing a fitness slash health wellness lifestyle blog or and slash YouTube channel. Okay, so for me. Um, I've been thinking a, a lot about this the last couple of months. What do I want to call my fitness channel? And I really like betteryou.com. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type this in. And as, if, as you can see, I've already started doing this, a little bit of prep work before I, I started filming this. But uh, as you can see, uh, when you go down here, uh, GoDaddy is going to give you a bunch of different results. And, you know, look, betteryou.com has a... $9,500 like auction going on right now. It's a very premium domain. A lot of people probably want to have this domain because it's a very, very good domain. It's very easy to remember. It, it you know, it, it, it screams health, fitness, wellness, better you. Okay. I want to make a better you, right? Um, and there's a lot of different other options I could go with. Um, I have better you.org, improve you.co, upgrade you.info. You know, to me, None of these really jump out at me, okay? I don't really like .info, .org is okay. Definitely, there's very successful blogs on .org. I believe zenhabits.org is one of those. I mean, so there's very, very, and there's new stuff coming up every single day. .tips, .club, guru, .today. Those aren't striking me. And for you, it could be a different story. Your, Your blog might be good to have a dot news or a dot org or dot guru okay for me for for what i'm going to show you guys uh i'm not going to be going that route but what i am going to be doing is i pulled this up i'm going to be doing what's called better you dot tv because primarily my content is going to be video based and as it says here if it has a play button it's made for tv with millions of websites hosting video it's hard for news ones to get noticed it's hard for new ones to get noticed. So basically, I want that dot .tv. Um, I want that dot .tv. I don't want dot .com. I don't want dot .net. And, and I sure as heck don't want to pay that much for what they're trying to, to run these at auctions at. I mean, for right here, betteryou.net. I mean, that's a premium domain. And it's uh, $1,500. So I do not suggest you guys pay $1,500. I don't ex- suggest you pay even, you know... $500. I don't believe that's necessary. At the end of the day, your blog is going to be, what's going to make or break your blog is one thing. How much compelling content can you put on your blog? That is all it's going to make or break it. So forget anything else we're talking about. If you're not planning on putting good stuff on there, don't even start. Okay. It all boils down to what good stuff you're going to give your viewers, your readers, uh, your listeners, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to register betteryou.tv. And I already have an account with GoDaddy, um, again, um, so it's very easy. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yep, it says your domain is available. Um, and then it gives you some... Now, what's crazy about GoDaddy is they're going to give you a million different like upgrades and options. I'm not messing with any of that. I'm getting my domain and I'm getting the heck out of here. So let's see here. Let's get to, yeah, see, I don't want any of these. I just want betteryou.tv. Cool. Continue to the cart. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, come back, go through the shopping cart checkout, and then we'll rejoin. Okay, so here I am at the checkout screen. And um, what I ended up doing, I'm going to show you guys a little tip to save a little bit of money, is it initially was going to charge me. I'm, I'm getting my uh, term for five years. So I'm going to own this domain for five years. 
um, and it's thirty nine ninety nine a year. The dot TV is a little different. If you get a dot net or a dot com, sometimes it's going to be a little less expensive. So the the price came out to a hundred and uh, ninety five one ninety nine dot ninety five. So I typed in in Google. I said GoDaddy promo codes. It sent me over to RetailNot.com, and I got thirty five percent off new products. So that worked. And um, I suggest you guys do that with GoDaddy or really any service that you guys use. Any anything you're gonna you're gonna buy online, type in X Y Z promo code and see what pops up on one of these coupon sites. You're gonna save a little bit of money here. So I've saved you know what seventy bucks just by doing you know a thirty second Google search. And then they have something for charity. I always like to do that anytime I um, you know anytime I buy something or you know do something on ebay i always like to give a little bit back in this case it's not much but i mean a little bit helps so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i'm gonna go ahead and proceed to check out put my credit card information in xyz all that stuff gonna pause it come right back okay, so i've purchased the domain i now own better tv so i'm very excited about that i wanted that domain i wanted the dot tv and i got everything i wanted so i'm very happy about that and I'm really excited to be putting a lot of new content on this blog. That is exactly where you guys should be as well. You should be ready to, to go through this. And now this is a, this is a technical part, okay? So really pay close attention. So I've got my domain and now I have to manage my DNS settings. Now a lot of this stuff is gonna be some technical mumbo jumbo, but it's very easy if you know the right steps. And I'm using HostGator. And it's simply, in my opinion, the best place to host your website. So you have your domain. That's like buying your house, so to speak. And your your hosting company is sort of uh, the land, okay? So this is where you're going to put your house on that land. And in, in my case, my house goes into HostGator. That's where I put uh, my my domains at. That's where they host. They have, and when you, when you think of a host... Think of just these big rooms with servers that's going to host your stuff that when people go to your website, that it, it brings it up. It makes sure it makes, you know, certain that uh, your, your site is always going to be online. There's not going to be any issues with downtime or anything like that. So they're a great company. Um, you, you can pick from a million different plans. Uh, just a lot of good stuff there. So you're going to want to go there and open up an account. I already have an account with HostGator, but you're going to want to go there, open up an account and uh, begin to build uh, and, and have something to ho or to have something to host on. So um, there we go. So we have HostGator. Now we have to go back in um, and use our domain. So it says it is just sitting there, put it to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to use domain. Um, and I'm actually, we're gonna actually back up. We're gonna go to actually settings and we're gonna go to manage DNS. Cause this is what I'm, I'm, I'm going off of. We have to point our, our property uh, from GoDaddy over to HostGator, so that so that way they're kind of uh, integrated, and then you can begin to use it on HostGator, okay? Because that's where HostGator is where we're going to install WordPress, and I'm going to get to that uh, very shortly. So, and it gives you step by step instructions. Um, so, um, go to manage, go to manage DNS, um, and you're going to enter in your name server information. So, um, I already have that pulled up here. So I'm gonna go back into, um, let's see here, I'm gonna go to settings, um, and then we're gonna manage our name servers. As you can see, it's pointed to this name server. We're gonna to wanna to point it to our HostGator name servers. Um, and so I'm gonna to go to custom, I wanna to go to enter custom, and then I wanna go ahead and enter that. I wanna go that, and I already know that's 608. And we're gonna hit okay. Cool. So now it is po pointing over, um, and it might take some, it says again, your request has been submitted, it might take a few moments to take effect. So um, that is currently where we are at with this process. Now, here in a little bit, I will, I will be able to go over to HostGator, log into my control panel, and install WordPress, and, and now we have a blog, okay? So guys, this is really as technical as it's going to get. You're gonna to wanna to change your name servers. It's gonna take a little bit of time to what they call propagate. 
and then you can begin building your blog. So don't get intimidated by this, it's very easy. Um, if you have issues, if this isn't sufficient for you, uh, call HostGator up, You know, call GoDaddy up, they'll be able to walk you through it. They have really good tech support for both of those. So um, that's it guys, this is part one, okay? I'm gonna break this down into probably five or six different videos. Um, the first one again is just simply registering your domain, getting your domain, and pointing the name servers to your hosting company okay um, there's gonna be links down below for for all of this stuff that you guys can access and begin to build your blog um, part two I'll probably have out tomorrow once my domains propagate I'll show you how to install WordPress pick a theme um, and start really getting uh, the nuts and bolts on your blog so I want to thank you guys for watching this video keep the questions coming I love answering them and um, we'll talk to you again soon thank you very much